As you know, Dad's sailing Miss Rosie back home from Falmouth. Please watch all the way to the end of this episode because we've got some exciting news for you. Last night in Fishguard. Look at this for an evening. So we've been um, just tidying up a few things. We're setting off tomorrow morning to go to Port Alley. Um, the kettle's just boiled. I've just poured it on some tea. It's just so many things that we've had to sort out with the boat, which is, you know, fine. They're absolutely fine, what we expected. But it's just another thing and another thing and another thing and another thing. And it's, you, you think, well, why haven't we done that? That's really dangerous. There's that stair to trip on. You think, well, yes, but I've been doing about a trillion other things as well. And firefighting, the issues with the, uh, the engine, the oil leak and the water leak and the exhaust problems. And then the oil leak comes back and then the exhaust problems come back. And, and then we have battery problems and then the toilet broke. And it's, you know, it's like <sighs> relentless barrage of things to sort out all of which is fine but it just means that other things don't get done tomorrow the wind is now predicted a steady well we a gust of six overnight which won't be very nice although it's not like it now but then tomorrow a steady force four gusting at five uh west and west northwest tomorrow um a little bit more north in it than i would like to go up to Portali, but by the evening it goes to a steady westerly uh, at about 10 to 12 knots so that should be a beautiful evening to arrive in Portelli. Um we're uh, I'm banking on it uh, uh, we should be able to do it in 11 and a half hours but I'm giving us 13 to 14 hours just in case but if we get up in the morning and it's still blowing too much we'll just sit it out and uh, low tide tomorrow in Portelli is half 10 and you can't get into Portelli an hour either side of low tide, I'm told. So 9, 9.15 is about the latest, otherwise we've got to wait until after. So what will happen is, if we get there at low tide, I'll anchor in Abersoch or pick up a mooring buoy in Abersoch until the tide turns. In theory, we could be there for half six in the evening with loads of water left still to get onto the mooring. Oh God, it's just spectacular here this evening. Right, see you in the morning. Well, this is it. This is the final leg of the journey. We've just left Fishguard, which you can just see way back in the distance behind us. And we should be in Pathali uh, by 8 o'clock tonight. We've got 18 knots of wind on the uh, port quarter, on the port bow rather. Just on a steady tack, uh, course is good. Uh, it's a bit gusty and there's quite a bit of swell and chop. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not horrendous. Much lighter winds and into this evening, so um, I think we can look forward to a, a comfier ride this afternoon. One of the issues we've got today is the fact that as we're heading north, we're, um, we're still going into the tide for the first few hours. There's a lot of passage on this, there's no way to avoid it. Um, so we're going into the tide, which is coming directly against us. We've got some swell coming in from the west, some swell coming in from the north, and the wind's coming from the sort of northwest. So it's, it's making for very confused seas. Uh, so we're not making we're making 4.6 knots, about 4 knots at the moment, uh, and then every now and then we'll pick up to 5, 5 and a bit, and then every now and then we'll slow down to 3, 3 and a bit. So, um, as I said, hopefully this will calm down after lunchtime, but for the moment, uh, it's the, 
two swell coming in from two different directions and the wind coming from a different direction again and the tide against us. So it's just all, all making for very turbulent and confused seas. now and a full Genoa and we are making a good steady six knots um, and uh, yeah should be in Pukali by half seven eight o'clock as predicted it's all looking good Tim's soaking wet a bit soggy yeah completely soggy the cockpit got full of water just had a breaking wave over the stern um, it went up as high as the GoPro the GoPro's wet the, Outboard's wet, Tim's soaked to the skin. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> and the cockpit's full of water. Well, it's not full of water, it's just, just wet on the floor. Oh dear, that was quite amusing, but unfortunately, again, as with all things, didn't get it on camera. St Tidwell Sound, right on the nose, about half an hour away, and we've nearly made it all the way back to Port Valley. Just when Dad thought the journey couldn't get any better, the dolphins came back to visit for a while as if to welcome Miss Rosie and her crew home to Wales. Miss Rosie really is an amazing little yacht. On this journey, she has proved she is capable of handling rough seas, rough weather, rolling anchorages, and through all this she has been kind to her crew, providing a comfortable and safe journey. But we have learned along the way that she isn't going to be big enough for me and mum and dad to live on. So do keep watching because the big announcement is still to come at the end of this episode.
good. Welcome back. <laughs> This piece of rope from the front that's going to the back means the boat can't pull forwards and bump its nose onto the harbour there. Um, we should have brought a front, front fender with us. Should have done, got one. Yeah. We've got one. Um, I know. But we'll bring it back next time. Not for the well, What happened here? Yeah. Has that been pointing up like that for ages? I don't know. The other GoPro went off just as we were coming to the harbour. Just now, before I forget. <laughs> Guess how far have we done in total? Um, I'll write it in there for you. What is it? What? What? Whipped cream and biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything tastes of salt, my hands, my lips, my face, it's just... Well, that's it, we're here. We arrived safely in Putelli a few minutes ago. Let me get that camera angle right, that's it. And we are moored up on our pontoon. Uh, we're probably gonna stay in the marina a couple of days and then we'll probably get one of the pile moorings because it's a little bit cheaper out there on the four and a half pile moorings than it is in the marina, but we'll see what deal they cut us. We might just stay in the marina for the rest of the season. But. Miss Rosie is finally home after a huge, epic journey, uh, over 300 nautical miles, I think closer to 400 by the time we're putting all the twists and turns. Um, Milo Yacht Club to Newlyn, Newlyn to uh, St Ives, St Ives to Padstow, Padstow to Dale Stroke Fishguard, uh, sorry, to, to Dale Stroke Milford Haven, Milford Haven to Fishguard, Fishguard to Puthelli. Um, all in all, realistically, two weeks um, with, you know, having to wait the odd day for good weather and tides and what have you. Uh, but it's six, six stints, six days sailing. And today was 57 nautical miles and we did it in exactly 12 hours. So 60 miles in 12 hours, uh, which is pretty good going. There you go, over and out. And there she is, all packed up. Safe and sound in Portelli. A few years ago in, uh, oh look at the state of me. A few years ago in the UK we had this huge storm called the Beast from the East. And uh, the damage that it did up here in North Wales was unbelievable. Hollyhead Marina in particular took uh, a real battering. Um, and as a result, there's a, a lot of damaged boats up here. And um, we came up here not so long ago uh, to look for a, a bigger boat than Miss Rosie so that we could work towards our full-term living aboard uh, plans. And the boat that we found in the back corner was not storm damaged from uh, the beast from the east. It was actually one that uh, uh, was owned by a, um, a gentleman that had become poorly. But I'm going to take you down and show you because we've got a bit of an announcement to make. Come and have a look at this. What's that? That's a big boat. Not this one. Not that one. Oh my goodness. So this is it. We have found Melody 
This boat you're looking at now will be our home. Over the next series of Sailing Melody, we'll be sailing Miss Rosie while we work on Melody in preparation to move aboard and head south to warmer waters and new horizons. We would love you to come along with us on this journey of a lifetime. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support us to continue making these videos, you can go to our Patreon page and help us out that way. Just click the link in the description.